Hey, it's Anna. Welcome back to Solo Trip Podcast. And if you're new here, hi, I'm an independent music artist. I write, record and produce my own music. And I also film three videos a week on my YouTube. And this series is all about metaphysics and the occult and spirituality and so, so much more. And for this video, I've been feeling called towards um, like a channeled message because with everything that's going on in the world and how crazy the times are right now, how much fear is everywhere right now, I feel like it's really important for me because of how I feel internally as well and the struggle that I've been dealing with. I feel like it's it's important for me to connect with you guys and just kind of put this message out there about loneliness and the fear of the unknown and that kind of thing because I've been kind of struggling as I said in a video before because I did take quite a bit of a break from my YouTube I took like three week break which is very unusual for me and I was kind of feeling a bit low and a bit down and stuff and there's just so much going on in the world like you only have to go on to any social media account and you're instantly sucked into the fear and the uncertainty and the doubt and everything and I really feel like it's so important to just kind of boost each other up and also to realize like the bigger picture and stuff but that I feel like that's a whole other video but for this one I just want to talk about loneliness and like feeling like you're alone in this situation in this world we are so so interconnected and I know I've said that before like there's scientific proof behind it and all of that kind of stuff but like we're just so interconnected But even beyond that, you have yourself. So you could never really be alone because we're surrounded by billions of people. But on top of that, like, you literally have yourself. You have your higher self. You have your ancestors. You have your spirit guides or whatever you want to call them. Like, you have God or source or the all or the universe or the creator. Like... All of it's interconnected through data, through DNA, through energy. So, like, everything's just so much bigger than this reality and so much more, like, I don't even know how to put this into words. But it's just, like, it's just, it's just so much more meaning to it than this one experience and then this one lifetime, you know. And I haven't really spoke about this to anyone yet. But I feel kind of called to share it. But I am studying past life regression. And I'm going to be offering the services public soon. Not yet because I want to like get really into it and stuff first. But I am studying it. And I don't know. It's kind of opening my mind to the fact that life is just so much bigger than this. Like this is one lifetime that we chose to come to, like, I read in my journal um, this morning about how, like, oh, yeah, like, I literally wrote a phrase, like, oh, I chose to come here, or something like that, which I've said so many times, like, I know this, but it clicked in my mind, like, not only did we choose to incarnate right now, we actually chose to be here at this exact time for these exact experiences for this whole what like global situation that's going on right now like we chose to be here to experience this situation and when I realized that and it clicked in my head it was like oh (laughs) like oh that I actually wanted to experience this like my soul wanted to experience this lifetime with these crazy fucked up things that are going on in the world but it really wanted to come here and we never actually die like death is a transition into a different form so like what is there to fear you know like we have these crazy clowns I'm gonna call them clowns trying to manipulate and brainwash which they've been doing for centuries but like they're going to so much trouble to try and manipulate and brainwash and keep their money and their power but yet we all die and we all transition into a completely different form and we're not here anymore so like what is it all for it's just like it sounds really silly you know like (laughs) I feel like I'm just gonna sit here and laugh to myself I'm just having major revelations right now like how dumb how pathetic and how desperate to be (laughs) brainwashing the collective for 
a lifetime when we all transition over and we're not here anymore and then we choose where we want to come again whether we want to come to this planet or whether we want to go somewhere else what physical vessel we're in like maybe we're in a completely different type of vessel because we're on a different planet like (laughs) it's just opening my mind so much because like when you go into past lives through the regression services that I'm going to be offering soon like people are accessing so many different things and uncovering so many lives that aren't even necessarily here like some people are going back to source they're literally going into a a regression which is like a form of hypnotherapy and then their source like they're back to being god (laughs) like what the fuck that was a past life before they chose to come here or maybe it's a future life depending on which way you want to look at it but like we all come from that so what the hell is there to fear really you know this is just a game it's just a game of life it's just a game of playing this character in this vessel you know like we know that we're not this vessel because we can control this vessel so it's just a game so how could you ever be alone when we're so interconnected through that because we could all go back to source if we really wanted to you know but we've chosen to fractalize into these people to come here and just play a character and experience life and let our soul expand and learn new things and experience new things and let's be real like earth is probably the worst and most difficult place to come to because it's just so intense like we feel the lowest emotions possible like we can feel fear which is the lowest emotion so oh (laughs) it's extremely difficult and yet we were brave enough to choose to come here and not only help raise the collective who has got stuck in the manipulation and that cycle of reincarnation and stuff but we also chose here to actually experience it for our own soul's growth and to remember and to awaken while we're here and then be ourselves because being ourselves helped to trigger other people into their awakening you know just simply by being yourself so like we are not alone because even though we may have been spread out quite far across the globe like the people that are on the same wave and that are uncovering the truth and doing their shadow work and stuff like we may be spread out quite far across the globe and you may not be in the same location as people that are on your wave right now but Oh, we are so interconnected and we have social media where we can easily reach each other you know like hmm. I'm just having res- revelations that like we're just so oh it's just so incredible and so beyond the fear that they say and so beyond the bullshit like I'm just so over the bullshit to be honest I'm so over going on my feed and reading all this fear-based bullshit I don't want to see it anymore because it's just annoying and oh I'm just realizing how important it is to see the bigger picture to remind ourselves of the bigger picture and to keep going back to the bigger picture so that even when we're aware of the things that are happening here and the things that we want to change if we go back to the bigger picture afterwards constantly like a daily practice it just mm, I feel like it resets your vibe, like your vibration, it kind of resets your mind and reconnects you back to source. And I think that's one of the things that I really value in people that either are religious or people that worship or whatever phrase you want to say, not the fear-based thing of believing that something's greater than you and more powerful than you, but the connectedness to that thing that is outside of space and time if that makes sense like I really value the level of connection that they have to God or source or whatever you want to call it because it's like it remembers it like reminds you of the bigger picture it's like it's okay there's a bigger picture here so I don't need to fall into the fear and the worry of these circumstances because actually I'm far greater than this experience and we're so interconnected and my higher self already knows all of the answers like when you remember that perspective it just I feel like it just shifts everything you know so yeah that was my little um revelation chat for some weird reason I just don't know what sparked even more revelation while I'm sitting here talking but yeah 
I really appreciate you listening and watching and I hope this video made sense and as always I will elaborate even further as sparks and downloads come to me you know but yeah I'm really grateful for you I don't know what I'm saying right now but anyway <laughs> I'm really grateful for you listening and watching and supporting me all the time like honestly I feel kind of connected to you guys in a way and it just yeah it feels really good so I appreciate you and don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already and check out the description box for my music and my social media my phone number my crystal healing jewelry which I have on Etsy that I hand make myself and yeah I really appreciate you I think I've said that about 30 times but anyway thank you so much for listening and watching and I will see you in the next episode bye oh yeah think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah think you like me yeah I'm icy cooling in that white tea oh yeah think you might I'm the thing you like me my range all white Think he might, I'm the thing he like, pick my range, oh, I.